Okay, today we're going to be talking about how to use the Velscope. The Velscope is a cancer screening tool, not a diagnostic tool. And what it will do is it will illuminate the mouth of the bright green light and abnormal tissue will come up as dark. So what you're going to need is A, the Velscope. And then you'll need what's called the vel sheath, which is this plastic piece right here that actually is placed over the vel scope for disinfecting purposes. And then the vel cap. Take the vel cap, and if you take a look here, the vel cap has these little tabs on the inside. Now you're going to place this on the patient side of the vel scope, and you know which one the patient side is because it will have this lip here around the unit and you're going to gently snap the vel cap into place then you're going to take the vel sheath and slide the unit inside the vel sheath when you place the vel sheath you want to make sure that it's not covering these exhaust grills now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the indicator lights on your Velscope, which are found on the clinician side of the Velscope. There's three lights. So as you can see, the green is flashing. The reason why it's flashing is it's being charged right now. And the white one here is the power connection. It's off when it's not connected. See, when I pull it out and it's on when it is connected. Now the right here, which gratefully you cannot see, because it's an amber light and it's the caution light, it will flash when a problem is detected. Now possible reasons for the amber light to flash is that the machine is overheating or there's been a fan malfunction. If it is flashing, what you'll want to do is you'll want to power the unit down and wait for two minutes. If it continues to be an issue, then it may need repair. You have to call the manufacturer. And what you're going to do is here I've got um, Malia wearing the Velscope safety glasses, which will protect her eyes from the light. This is the power button just on the front of the machine on the patient side. So you're gonna hold it like you would an air water syringe and then you would just push the button. You wanna look in this eyepiece. Uh, what I see a lot of people doing is they're looking in the mouth as they shine the light and you actually want to look through this lens in order to get an accurate examination. As you can see it's fluorescing in Malia's mouth and it's best to do this examination um, with the lights off. So a problem that I see people do is they look um, just in the mouth shining the light, but you're not going to see the tissue fluoresce. You actually have to look through the Velscope lens to see the fluorescence. So what you're looking for is you're looking for any dark pigmented lesions. Now recognize that there are some common benign conditions which may appear dark, which would be a traumatic lesion, pigmented lesion, vascular lesions, inflammatory conditions, which would, for example, that would be a cold sore, an aphthous ulcer, amalgam tattoo, or a hematoma. If it doesn't fall under any of those benign circumstances, you'll want to palpate it and see if it blanches. If it does not blanch, then you'll want to re-examine under regular light.